we're back again and we're here to talk about the Idaho Four. But specifically, I want to jump into a couple things right off the bat. I'm not going to prolong you. Just make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you're new here, and jump into the conversation, engage in the comments. Don't be afraid to engage in the comments. Rep Gang family will be in the comments. I will be in the comments. I want to talk about this with you guys, though. Jack Showalter. There's a very good interview out there, and I want to play some of that in here on, on one of the videos that I was watching this morning as I was catching up on anything new that came out possibly, right? It's alleged that Jack Showalter went to Africa. Now, I do want to talk about how Jack Showalter was very, very suspicious in that video. If you've seen the show See No Evil like I have all seven seasons, if you've seen all of the seasons on See No Evil, and then you know why that guy Jack Showalter is very suspicious. So if you watch, they walk around the truck, the side of the truck together. They came together. If you watch, Jack comes around the truck with Kaylee and Madison. Now, I went through this footage over and over again the last three weeks, right? But I went through it again last night when I was live with Joe. Shout out to Joe Hart. I do appreciate you co-hosting with me and rocking out. I will be reaching out to you on Twitter. Pay attention. Uh, shout out to Isaac too, man. I appreciate you joining me up there too. We had a very good live last night. It was legendary. We had over thousands and thousands of people in there. And it was great to see a lot of you good souls there. And everybody that, if you're a new subscriber to the channel, I do appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. And I want you to jump in the comments right now. I want you to talk about this. Jack Showalter was suspicious and i'm gonna tell you why they came around that truck him and madison and caitlin the girls order food jack show walter goes over okay he fixes his cap he throws his hood up he walks over he's kind of you know looking out the plotting out the crowd a little bit looking around and then he finally makes conversation with the other guy we know who the other guy is brown you know brown jacket bigger guy he spoke out before i seen all of his i seen his whole video to its entirety that he put out on tiktok made and somebody put that on youtube as one thank you for whoever did that saved us a lot of time i seen that when he first dropped it which was like a week ago but anyways back to jack showalter jack showalter literally did he he looked out of place now I don't know why he stood, like, why did he stay there? That's what I want to know. Why did he stay there? Was he there to watch over the girls? I mean, from what I've seen on Grizzly's channel, shout out to Grizzly True Crime, by the way. When I watch your channel, it motivates me more. And I love the information that you come out with. And a lot of stuff that you came out with helped me a little bit, or helped me a lot. Not a little bit. It helped me a lot. So shout out to you, Grizzly True Crime. Jack, number three, Jack S, Jack Showalter, kicked out of the fraternity, had anger issues, was kicked out of the bar that night, the corner club. All these things that happened with Jack Showalter, and they come around the truck with Jack Showalter on camera. If you go back and watch that clip, Jack Showalter looks up at that camera like three or four times. Now, he starts making conversation with the bigger guy. The girls are sitting there. Madison walks over to uh, Kaylee. She stumbles. You could tell Madison was drunk. She was drunker than, than Kaylee for sure. It, it seemed like Kaylee was the more I had a couple drinks. I'm going to you know make sure we're good and get home okay. They get a private ride. As soon as that ride pulls up there, or as soon as they get they, their food, they walk off. What does Jack S do? Jack Showalter immediately. Oh, and this is everything that you hear on my channel is allegedly, okay? Just, I just want to make that known. Everything that you hear on my channel is allegedly, but Jack walks, turns right. Where did he go from there? That's what we want to know. Where did he go from there? I feel like they cleared him way too fast. And the reason why I say they cleared him way too fast is because this clip I'm going to show you right now. With this information that Brian has learned about Kaylee's injuries being more severe than the other victim, who apparently I think was lying in the same bed with her. What do you make of it? I find it really fascinating that Kaylee's injuries are worse than Maddie's, which might make some maybe think that she had been the target. But she was found in Maddie's room. So if the killer was coming in to get Kaylee, he did this in Maddie's room. And you've seen the pictures of these girls, Dan. They are beautiful, blonde. They look very similar in the daylight. Now turn out the lights and, you know, put them in a, in a bed. It, and it would be very, very difficult to tell them apart just from a practical matter. So it just complicates this story, I think, from a profiling, um, you know, perspective. And it also complicates why two other people would need to die. That's It's just... Right. When you think you have an answer, suddenly you have a lot more questions. All right, I want to play you a piece of sound from Christy Gonzalez, uh, Kaylee's mom, uh, on the suspects. Then I want I want your thoughts on this. Uh, I just feel like there's been a couple individuals that were cleared very fast. That may not maybe she not have been. And yeah, she had the strong alibi. Just really fast. He, just you like, can dismiss you know, an hour later, and we're like, what? 
that was in the interview with Brian, you know, the mom frustrated by the police clearing people very quickly. What do you make of it? Well, I mean, within the first week, there were so many people being cleared all while we were waiting for maybe a person of interest that never came. But every person that had been raised in this story was cleared lightning fast. And one of them was a very suspicious character that was spotted on camera at the food truck. And the reason he was suspicious is because he was lingering. He wasn't there to buy food, didn't appear that he bought any. He stood behind the girls while they were paying and ordering. And then he even moved the 10 to 15 feet when they shuffled 10 to 15 feet and waited 10 more minutes to get their food, all the while watching them, but not doing anything else. And then as soon as those girls turned to leave, he was right on their tail leaving as well. So, you know, that raised a lot of suspicion, Dan. And then to have him cleared so quickly, Kaylee's father is very upset because he's hearing that that person did not give DNA and also may be out of the country by this point. So these are things that I think as a family, you would be very upset by, certainly in the absence of any other solid information coming their way. Yeah, we just saw the crime scene tape is still up after three weeks, apparently still collecting evidence. Ashley Banfield, thank you. What do you guys think about that clip? See, now that's what I want to talk about. There was people that were cleared way too fast. I mean, absolutely cleared way too fast. Had no business being cleared that quick. Jack Showalter was cleared very fast. They didn't even get a DNA sample from the guy. I mean, is that called clearing somebody? He had a very, very strong alibi. I mean, who are they talking about in that interview? Ashley Banfield also says that Jack, possibly in Africa. By, by the way, shout out to everybody who came in my live stream last night. That was one of the most legendary live streams I've ever had. I do appreciate everybody and all the support. Like, I think we gained like 500 subscribers last night. It was so awesome to have all you beautiful people come by and put your brains together. I I had tons of people sending me emails and information. Without you guys, I'm nothing. So thank you guys so much for coming by and just joining me and putting our brains together. It, it was very awesome. I want to present something to you right now because, like I said, Jack Showalter could be in Africa. Is that the case? I don't know. But I take Ashley Banfield as very, being very credible. The parents of Kaylee are very frustrated. She was the target, It's as it seems, or she was trying to protect. In my opinion, Kaylee probably fought back the hardest if she's got the most because he was angry or she was the target. And that is just my complete opinion about that. Now, I do want to show you guys something. Now, let's go ahead and jump to that. Okay, so look at this here. This was sent to me last night. Thank you, beautiful subscribers, for sending this to me. I really appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I couldn't thank you enough. Now, here, guys, what I'm presenting is if you see my hand on my mouse here, look, this is where Jack lived. Okay, this is where Jack would have been. Now, come out here, come down here. It takes about, you know, 56 seconds, a minute to walk. I've, I've already done mapped it out and literally got it down and narrowed from here to here for a walk. One minute. You run 30 seconds. Go around. You know what I mean? Then it just goes down less than that. If you're if you're hauling ass, you can get there in, in 20 seconds. I guarantee I could run that in 20 seconds or less. That's a one minute walk. So if you're just walking, that's one minute. I don't know, guys. This is making sense to me that uh, it's looking like Jack could be our guy, allegedly. Like my name says, T-Rev 757, allegedly. I just, I don't know. I want you guys to drop your thoughts. I mean, it does, it, I'm not saying 100%, yeah, this is our guy. But if he went to Africa and he's in one of the countries in Africa that you can't be extradited back, that is suspect. If you went somewhere, you cannot be extradited back because U.S. does not work with them. That is very suspect, and you are my number one suspect. See, what messes with me with this case is that so many people have been a suspect to me in this case, right? Like, like oh, this guy is, this guy is, or, oh, he's weird. Or, I'm sorry, but the guy that we all thought was suspicious from the beginning is starting to stand out a little bit more. He's standing out like a sore thumb. Thank you, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm looking forward to your comments on this video. My heart breaks for these families. My heart goes out to these families, and I hope that you guys get the justice that you deserve. I will see you guys on the next live. I don't know if I'll be live tonight. If I won't, if I'm not live tonight, I'll be live tomorrow. But more than likely, I'll be live tonight. So if you want to come by, keep your notifications on, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, and you'll catch me live. And we will go over 
everything. Once again, we'll spark up that conversation. Joe Hart, hopefully we see you. Make sure you go subscribe to Joe's channels and stuff like that. Joe, if you see this video, make sure you comment under there. I do appreciate you coming up on panel. You have been a great guest. You have great insight. Uh, even though we don't see eye to eye on everything, it's it's good to have a different perspective. And, uh, and I enjoy your character, Joe. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching this video. Drop your thoughts down in the comments please, because that's what means the most to me is seeing what you guys think or seeing what you guys found. Also, if you need to email me, you guys know how to get a hold of me. Again, Rev Gang family, I love all of you. Thank you. I'm out.